All right, I'm back, and uh, this is part three at the Allentown show, and we're moving along into the crowd and down the alley of, I call them like little alley of games where all the games are lined up for sale. So uh, just bear with me, it's very congested in here. I think it's on this one or this one? That freaking food. So we're moving down here, we're trying to find find the top car. It's a ringer, man. Not the same. All right, so there's Frank's free fall. We're going to be looking at uh, Frank's free fall here. And this is your top car. It's not mine, it's a buddy I'm picking it up for. Oh, you're picking it up for him. Yeah. So, yeah, a lot the same of nice. I'm picking up a bit of uh, bingo for him. All right. So, uh, we're taking a look at these two games as soon as Frank comes back. I'm going to pick up this video. I'm going to take a short little walk down here. A lot of EMs over here. Target Alpha. There's a Sonic game. Here's a beautiful banker ball. One of the hey. awesome banker balls I've seen in a while here. Look at the cabinet on this game. And Playfield. Wow, this game's in great shape. Uh, that's a beauty. Is that yours? I have one home. I had a question for you about Pleasure Isle. Yeah. So we got a lot of EMs down this whole road. I think we're starting with EMs down at the back there. Looks like that Bowling Queen, Aladdin's Castle, 2001, Hocus Pocus, Free Fall, Top Car, Bank of Ball, World Beauties, Chinatown, Lightning Ball, Miss Annabelle. Nice little row of wood rails here. All right, so who do we have here? What's your name? Larry. Larry, how you doing? Good. Vic Camp. Hi, Vic. Nice to meet you. Got a question? Yeah, about your pleasure aisle. I don't have one. You used to. You submitted a picture to um, to uh, IPDB. Well, <laughs> in the early days, you could get away with taking pictures of other guys' games and putting them on there because he was trying to establish that site. Yeah, he always and, had the high res pictures. Too. And down the road, he decided that he just wanted owners of games pictures. So, unfortunately, that's not my game, but... I'm not sure it's whose pleasure aisle it is. The question I had, but you know, in the kick out, the ring, he's got some rings in there. The standard rings are not that size. Did he shave the rings down? Well, you, you look, you know, this. The whole liner, yeah, the whole metal liner. That one is clipping. The insert in, in the kick out holes. Pinball Resource sells them. Yeah, but, but they're too big for the, for the pleasure aisle. Yeah, so I'm thinking I gotta cut. I gotta cut it back. Well, Frank works at Pinball Resource, so you got a good, you got a better guy than me. Jr. There you go. Nice. This is uh, Frank. His brother's Jr. Joe. I, I bought the pleasure aisle from Joe. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So you got Jr.'s pleasure aisle. Yeah, yes, well, yes. we gotta find Jr. That's the problem. He's around. I've been looking for it. He's right. supposed to meet us here, so he may show I have up. Paradise, which is the replay version. Right. And the homes have been redone, but they use the JB Weld uh, stuff. Can tighten them up. And he did a good job. That up. boy did a good job. Because the, the one that is credited to picture had the A and B holes with the chrome in them. All right, the so we're discussing about a pleasure aisle here. I'm just going to cut this video short so we can start another one up when JR comes. Meanwhile, I'll step across here and show you a nice ice show, which is a air ball game. I had a game called Ice Review, and Ice Show is the air ball to Ice Review. It's a Gottlieb. There's a buckaroo. And how are you doing, young man? It's my game. That's your game. 
That's this game right here, this gentleman here. This has some <laughs> wrong parts. I'm seeing it now. So uh, we're gonna move down here, we're gonna take a look at some other EMs. There's a Paul Bunyan over here, a six player game right here, Paul Bunyan. Guys looking for 1200 for that. The drug issue going around everywhere. A nice serenade right here, two player. As you can see, this is a beautiful DM. We got a price about 1700 and a phone number. If anybody's interested, give them a call. Top car. And we're strolling down. We got some more EMs here. Here's a nice EM. This is a Williams Full House. Here's a high hand Gottlieb, 1973 high hand. Guys looking for 800. There's a phone number if you want to buy that game. How about a hit and run wood rail? Pretty nice shape here. Don Owens, I know him. 1450, not a bad looking game at all. He does really good restorations. Globe Trotter, another wood rail here. We're gonna move down a little bit. Excuse me. Beautiful skill pool. I have this game in my collection, a Williams skill pool. This is Mike's game. I know Mikey's from New Jersey. If you want to purchase this game, there's the sign and phone number. Mike's got another game here, 2001, that I have in my collection also. So both these games are in my collection. You'll see that on my page. And uh, beautiful 2001. Very good fair price at 1400 Nice condition and it plays well. Here's a Gottlieb spin out. We're moving down the line here. Lots of EMs in this section here. Top score, parts and spades. Fun Park, Dragon, here's a great game, nice condition, Aztecs, Williams, beautiful looking game here, and a Buckaroo, 1800, make an offer, I like trades, here's the phone number, Len, really nice Buckaroo here, not bad at all, play field looks fairly nice, and we got a super flight. Star pool. Got some players on the game. Swing around and we're over here. There's a river boat, another Aladdin's castle. I think there's three or four of these games here today. I've seen three of them. River boat, nice game. Not for sale though. And you got a choice. So that's it. We're gonna cut this video short. We're going to head back uh, around another aisle. Hope you're enjoying this video so far. Part four coming up soon.